Wow, isn't this exciting? As you can see, changes are happening and exciting new things are coming soon. Do you know that all these changes are God's way of preparing us for His big plan? Now, what is God's big plan for Children's Church then? We know that He wants to do new things in Children's Church and we have got to be listening to what He is saying. Let us begin with God's Word in the Bible. And here is a special way of retelling the story like Olaf. Here, it's really quite simple. It began with two sisters, one born with magical powers, one born powerless. I don't know, do I? Blast! Oh. This is the story of Acts 10 verses 9 to 23. Peter came to Joppa. Huh? It's 12 p.m. Time to pray! Oh, I feel hungry! <gasps> and then God said, Rise, Peter, kill and eat! <gasps> By no means, Lord! I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. What God has made clean, do not call common. It happened three times. Now, what is God saying? Then, Someone knocked on the door looking for Peter. The Holy Spirit told Peter, Three men are looking for you. Go down and follow them because I have sent them. And then Peter said, All right, Holy Spirit. Good afternoon. I am sent by the Roman officer Cornelius to look for Peter. An angel appeared to Cornelius and asked him to invite Peter to his house. God must be doing something great. Come in, come in. I will follow you to find Cornelius tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the retelling of the Bible story. Now, did you know that as a Jew, Peter cannot eat certain types of food? Peter can only eat clean food and cannot eat unclean food. And so the vision that God showed Peter is telling him something new, something that he has not grown up with. The thing is this, God is not telling Peter about food. God is actually telling Peter about people. Because in the same way with food, Jewish people cannot hang out with non-Jewish people. And through the vision, God is telling Peter that the gospel of Jesus Christ is for the whole world, both the Jews and the non-Jewish people. And so that is God's big plan through Peter. And boys and girls, God has a big plan for all of us in Children's Church too. You know, the Bible story tells us about how God speaks to His people in so many different ways, in prayer, in vision, and by the voice of the Holy Spirit. And that is to prepare all of us for His wonderful plans. He wants us to change, not only just physically in the building that you saw, but also inwardly in our hearts and our minds. And these changes are to prepare us for His big plan. You and I are part of this plan together. And so after you finish watching this video, I would like you to spend some time to pray and ask God, God, what is your plan for Children's Church? Whatever God has put into your mind, draw it out or write it out and hand it to us when you come back to church. I'm very excited to be partnering with you to find out what God has to say. You and I have a part to play in His plan in LSBC.